All right, Carolyn, thank you. The coaching carousel has come to a halt at the Citadel before it barely even got started. Today, the Bulldogs introduced Brent Thompson as the 25th head football coach in school history. News 2's Evan West joins us now in the studio with more on the hire. Thompson has served as the offensive coordinator at the Citadel for the last two years, and athletic director Jim Sinter says his experience with the triple option made him a perfect fit for the position. I tell you, I'm excited. I'm running on a lot of adrenaline right now, but uh, I'm extremely excited. I think it's a great opportunity, and, and I'm extremely happy to be here. Thompson was one of only two candidates interviewed for the job. The other was a former Citadel player and current defensive coordinator of the Bulldogs, Monks Corner native Maurice Drayton. In fact, I spoke to a Citadel grad who's a former teammate of Drayton's at the Citadel, and he said the defensive coordinator should have been named head coach instead of Thompson. Jim Center and school officials obviously did not think Drayton was the best fit, but why? Who's the best coach to take our program forward and build upon the successes that we've had? The administration decided offensive coordinator Brent Thompson was the best man tasked with taking the Bulldogs to the next level. Players believe, and that's the most thing, is the staff believes in the players, I believe in those players. That's the number one thing is the belief. But not all of the Bulldogs are on board with the decision. I spoke to one former Citadel football player who did not want to be identified on camera. He says the Citadel hired the wrong man for the job. The gig should have gone to Monk's Corner native and former Citadel cornerback turned defensive coordinator Maurice Drayton. Well, the Citadel had an opportunity to take care of one of its own, and especially during times like this. They could have showed the nation uh, what we're built of, and they failed on that front. Only 9% of FBS head coaches are African American, and the Citadel has never hired an African American head coach to lead one of their three major sports. It's in our consciousness, but at the end of the day, we wanted to hire what we believe was the very, very best fit, regardless of their race, religion, creed, national origin, ethnicity. Uh, none of that mattered. How important was it to have uh, Coach Drayton on the staff? Keep him here. Well, it's a. Uh, it was probably my number one priority uh, as soon as I did get the job was to try to you know, retain Coach. While Drayton still has a job, his former teammates at the Citadel say it's the wrong job, and it's a travesty that he was passed up by his alma mater. In this case, all I can say, if it walks like a duck, it sounds like a duck, it quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. There's no reason why Maurice Drayton should not be the head coach as we speak. Interesting note, when Thompson told the media and alumni that Drayton would be retained, an applause broke out, obviously ind indicating that the Citadel alum are happy that one of their own is being taken care of, yet Drayton did not receive the position many felt he more than deserved. Live in the studio, Evan West, News 2 Sports. News 2 at 5.